In Vim, one of the most overpowered and underrated commands has got to be normal. And I didn't know about this for a while. It's basically a super powerful find and replace where you can do any kind of arbitrary Vim script and run it on a line by line basis. So here's an example of, this is a very contrived example. You, I'm just making up fake code basically here, but say that I have this list of stuff and I could select it by, um, oops, V inside uh, opening curly bracket. Let me actually turn on key casting, okay. And then say that I want to add dot append with uh, parentheses to each of these terms. You could do this with a macro. You could actually even do it with a find and replace. So like you could just replace comma with dot append comma. But the way I'm going to do it here is with norm. So type colon and then norm. And then you can type any vim motion. So I'm going to go to the comma with f comma. And then now that I'm at the comma, I'm going to type i. That'll go into insert mode and then dot append and then parentheses. And then if I run that, it'll add dot append to everything. This is an actual, I'm going to stop my LSP. Um, so that's pretty cool. Just a good find and replace. But say that I wanted to do something more complicated. This will actually showcase why this is so powerful. So if I go back to the selection of go visual and then capital V to select everything, I'm going to try to put all of these variable names in quotes inside the append. So let me think about how I would do this. This is just off the dome. Um, first norm. Now I'm going to go to the beginning of the line with I like, can do with underscore. Um, and then I'm going to yank word. Actually, I'm going to yank to dot in case for whatever reason, word doesn't doesn't capture everything. So then I'll be at at period. But now I want to go to the closing parenthesis. Actually, I want to go to the opening parenthesis and then paste. But I actually want quotes inside here. So what I'm going to do is insert actually a because I'm on the opening one and I want to insert it the next character. So then I'll hit quotes and now to go back into normal mode you can hit control v and then escape and that character will put you back inside normal mode and now i can hit paste and then a and then close quotes hopefully this works enter boom so that's an awesome use case um you could probably use a large language model now, but uh, you won't feel as good about it. One more cool thing is say that you have a macro. Let's make a basic one, QW. And let's have this yank inside quotes and then go to the end and then paste it three times and then add a pipe at the end and then close that macro. What some people would do is try to go down each line and then run that another time and then they'd see like okay so there's six lines and let's do six at w it's not going to work because i don't have i don't have a j to go down what i do now instead of that is i select the whole block that i want and then i type norm and then add w and that'll run it per line and there you go three paste and then a bar for each one Sorry, this example was kind of bizarre. It's not valid code um, at all.